Okay, now we're going to catch up on Prince Harry uh, during, after uh, the funeral. So let's see how that goes. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. I am Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come with. So yeah, so all the um, gossip media in uh, London is tearing into Prince Harry for the way he looks, the way he coughed, the way his eyes went, whether he sang or not. So let's do a, uh, a full Celtic cross for Prince Harry and see uh, how things are going for him. So Prince Harry, let's see what the cards can tell us uh, about him. So the kids are back in California. He and Megan are here are in London uh, for the um, horror of his mother, his grandmother's funeral. And um, besides that, just to honor her in the way that he knows she deserves, he has to um, pay attention to, abide by. And I don't think it's Charles and William. Uh, that are making these um, decisions or accusations or or slights uh, that um, th that are offensive. I mean, someone is one of these newscasters uh, suggested that uh, there was a candle in front of Megan in the uh, church uh, because the queen knows every angle and she was sure to place Megan behind that can candle, which would be behind the camera angle. I mean, why attribute such a petty um, act uh, to a poor woman who's dead? You know, and 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 for for the queen, it is a petty act. It's the petty kind of thing that the newscaster would do, I suppose. But um, so Prince Harry is he going to? Well, let's say this. Just, let's do a series of draws, and then maybe a major draw after that. And these all will be about Harry. Um, probably a couple of three card draws, and then a major a dietic or a Celtic cross. But before we do anything, let's have just a moment of meditation. So let's have uh, three cards right off the bat to say, okay, is Harry uh, plotting against uh, the monarchy or anyone, uh, as a matter of fact, um, in an ugly way? You know, is he trying to make some sort of a vindictive point uh, rather than trying to um, just, you know, open maybe people's eyes? So is Harry uh, doing things in a vindictive manner? One, two, three. Let's just see what the cards say. Is Harry conducting himself or doing things in some sort of vindictive, uh, dishonorable way? First card for that. The Empress. This is interesting. So the Empress card, you know, the Empress is, you can think of her as Mother Nature, all knowing, all caring, um, you know, n providing nourishment, protection, and uh, for those uh, that uh, she cares about. Interesting card for this question of is Harry um, uh, doing something vile? And we come up with the epitome of, of, of nourishment, uh, mother, mother Nature almost, the Empress. Second card then is this uh, Three of Wands. I've got to tell you from the back, 
this character almost looks like Harry. The hairline, the frizzy hair from the back. Now wands are actions, plans, motions forward, and the three of wands are long-term plans. And so I think the cards are starting to tell a story here. I think perhaps this empress uh, could represent uh, the queen herself, uh, trying to uh, you know comfort her brood, and uh, and then this three of wands could be telling us uh, about Harry's uh, trying to look ahead for some long-term plans. But we still haven't answered the question as to whether he has an ill intention. The last card is, look at this, the Ace of Wands. So these are uh, actions, plans, forward movement. The Ace is as definitive a card as you can be uh, to be a, as far as being a strong uh, card for strong plans. So just to read over it carefully with that question in mind, is Harry doing something, um, you know, in uh, against uh, someone? He's doing something deliberately uh, destructive uh, to someone. Well, we start out with uh, the opposite of that. We get a message of, of, of blessing, of nourishment, of uh, someone caring about um, uh, those around them, and that's the Empress. That energy is then uh, backed up uh, by... Uh, you know, a long-term plan. What is the long-term plan? And then the last card we get for that series <coughs> is with this Ace of Wands is making a big definitive uh, plan, uh, a movement forward. Let's get two more cards to see if this uh, gives us any more information. Two more cards is Harry uh, doing something uh, not nice. The next card then is going to be this Magician. And the magician is someone who has all the tools available to them to make their uh, thing happen. Well, this speaks to someone who's trying to, uh, I don't want to say manipulate, but trying to make things happen and who has the tools to do that. And then the last card I'm going to draw for this question as to whether Harry's doing something difficult is uh, this queen of swords swords of truth justice rules of law and this queen is going to rip and look at this they've even got this queen in funeral garb how about that in mourning dress uh truth justice rules and law and the queen in mourning i'm gonna say that because it ended up on an honorable note that yeah um he's uh, backed by um Mother Nature almost, okay? He is making a long-term plan. It is a strong plan, okay? One that will not be uh, deterred. Um, he has um, all the tools, and this one looks like him. He has all the tools at his disposal to make this thing happen. And then the last card in the period, almost the period in the sentence, is the Queen of Swords, Truth, Justice, Rules, and Law, is in mourning. I think he is planning, trying to get something done, but it looks like perhaps it may have an honorable end. That's my take, but I'm prejudiced uh, for Harry. Okay, so now let's just do a long draw on Prince Harry. And we want to include, uh, hope that we get through in these messages, what his plans are. Um, I want to know um, if he's just not sincere. Let's just see what the cards can tell us, if they can tell us a story about what's going on with Harry. Six cards, and might be the end of it, or I might do a four more, we'll just see how it goes. So, Prince Harry, tell us about his journey right now, his intentions, um, whatever the cards can reveal to us about the Duke of Sussex, Prince Harry. Okay, six cards. The signifier card for this draw, then, is ten of coins uh, coin ten of coins is happy family ten of uh, coins are value uh, could be money um, and uh, but mostly we're talking about value here so the ten of coins is is happy family we're try trying to get a, a take on what's going on with Harry and the first card is uh, happy family I get the feeling this isn't just his family, that this is also the whole, uh, you know, family around him, his extended relatives, okay? That this is uh, the signifier of this read then. The challenge to that then, with this six of swords is moving out of troubled water, makes perfect sense because that's exactly what he had to do uh, to kind of uh, pull his 
his sanity back uh, so that he could do whatever it is he thinks that it has to be done next. So uh, the happy family challenged by moving out of troubled water, and it's underscored by the empress. So she comes back just to let us know that she's there. She's on his side with advice. Past of this reading, look at this. I love it when the card's repeated, and it's so eerie that um, that this happens. So in the past of this reading is that same uh, three of wands, and this is Harry with those long-term plans. So those plans are made. I think he has an idea of where he's going. He knows where the mountain is and how to get there, and, but it doesn't mean that it's an easy uh, journey because look at the chasm between him and where he needs to be. But this is someone who's determined. Look at that. They're ready to set off. He's, he's exploring the landscape, trying to decide how's, what's the best route to get to where he has to be. That's in the past. That's done. He's got a plan. In the sky of this reading, then, with this page of cups, the cups are emotion, compassion, heartfelt situations. The page is the very least, uh, the weakest member of the royal family. And so in the sky is this page of cups, this messenger of, of feelings, of hope. of uh, uh, And uh, so I think that's where he is. He doesn't have much more... Uh, much more validity in this situation than a page would, page of emotions. And then the final uh, outcome for this diet at Cross about Harry is this Ace of Cups. So it's going to end up with a great big Ace of Compassion. Let's do four more cards. So Prince Harry, uh, he looks like he's got a plan. We'll read it all together at the end just to see how it comes out. The very self of that question about Prince Harry what, whatever the cards can reveal to us about him. The self of this this issue with Harry is this five of coins. Well, the five of coins, coins are, are value, even money, and five of coins is being left out in the cold. So that's kind of where he is. The uh, environment that that's in, being left out in the cold, is in this six of wands. And the six of wands is victory. You know, uh, wands are, uh, again, like I said before, their actions, their plans, their forward movement. And the six of wands is victory. So being left out in the cold, but he's in the, in the, uh, in the company of victory for whatever it is he's trying to achieve. The hopes and the fears for this, the fools, a new journey, getting something going, hoping that you're going in the right direction. And then the final outcome for this for Harry is uh, this page of wands. Okay. It's an insignificant or, or an idea of a plan to move forward. So, you know, as important as all of this might be to him, the end result is not going to be that strong of, of, of a result. So to read it again, Prince Harry, what's going on with him? Well, we start off with this Ten of Coins, happy family. It looks like that's what he's seeking, happy family in general, more than just his little family of four. And it's challenged by this Six of Swords moving out of troubled water, challenged by the fact that he's so far away. Uh, the underpinning of this whole thing is the Empress, is almost Mother Nature itself. I would think of it as the Queen, and maybe in combination with his mother Diana. And in the past of it is this Three of Wands. This looks like Harry making those long-term plans into the future, and they have been decided on. Uh, no, nothing's going to change his idea from that path. In the sky of this, then, we see Harry as the Page of Cups, just a message of compassion. And then the likely outcome for the whole thing ends up with a great big a great big cup of compassion. So it looks like his plan maybe to uh, educate that royal family as to what's going on behind the scenes and how this isn't right and could be better ends up with a great big cup of compassion. But what about Harry in general? And the very self of that question is this five of coins being left out in the cold. Your value isn't with you. You've been, you've been turned away and left out. Some would say that's his own fault, but it's in the environment of what? It's in the environment of the six of wands, victory. Okay, so this being left out in the cold was essential to this uh, victory uh, of plans, six of wands, plans, uh, getting actions going. And then in the sky of the, or the hopes and the fears of this with this fool, it just verifies this new journey that he's on. And then, it, but it ends up with the likely outcome for the whole thing as a page of wands. This is Harry with a plan, and it's not that effective as he would have hoped it would be. It's a message. This is how things should be. That's how I see this. Well, whether you like uh, the Duke of Sussex or not, those are the cards we got. So I hope you agree with my interpretation. If you don't agree with my interpretation, let me know. Just be nice. And, uh, and let me know what you want me to read on because I'll read on that. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on. 
So this is the Revival Art Tarot by Toracco. Toracco or Toracho? I'm not sure. Studios. Uh, this is a deck that comes to me somehow, I think, from Russia via Norway. But um, they're beautiful cards. They were a little pricey, and um, but I love to use them. They're lots of art. The guidebook that comes with them, Revival Art Guidebook, is, um, you know, leaves a lot to be desired. You know, you can't really read it. It's tiny, tiny print. But on the uh, upside, there's nothing in here that's particularly um, earth-shattering as far as how to use the cards for divination. So, you know, no loss that it's a bad uh, guidebook. However, the cards are just amazing. And uh, the art goes right to the edge on these cards. They're really beautiful, and I love using them. And, uh, you know, I do this to sort of sort of mix up the cards and to give folks who don't uh, purchase tarot cards or look at uh, full decks of tarot cards very often the chance to see, you know, more of what the deck looks like. Otherwise, you just kind of see the first few, uh, the first, only the cards that are uh, dealt or that are turned over. So there you go. Uh, that's this uh, Toracho Revival Art Studio uh, deck, and I think they're beautiful, and I love using them. Um, they are pretty, pretty cool. Well, I'm Mark. This has been My Journey Through Tarot. I'll be doing it again tomorrow if you want to go, so stop on by. Ciao for now. really make a big difference. Thank you.